In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can rewrite PLR to create unique books or articles using Closers Copy, which is an AI copywriting software. Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and uh, let's get right into it. So I'm at uh, PLRME right here which uh, I'm an affiliate for this website. If you want to get some high quality PLR, this is the number one website that I recommend. And uh, you can grab my link for this in the description and sign up. And if you sign up using my link, you'll actually get 10 free credits in order to get some free PLR. And you also get two free credits a month just for being signed up as a free member. Uh, so it's a really good deal, I highly recommend it. And I actually just used my two free credits of the month to download this Income Boost Blueprint Make Money with Fiverr uh, special report. And what I'm going to demonstrate is how easy it is to take PLR content and rewrite it to make it your own using Closers Copy. And so you can, you can probably do this using a lot of different, uh, you can probably do this using a lot of different AI copywriting softwares, but Closers Copy has introduced some new features recently which are making it really easy to write pretty much anything, including long form content and including rewriting existing stuff, uh, which just makes it that much easier to use. And a friend of mine is actually writing a book uh, using AI copywriting software and PLR, and I thought that would make a pretty cool idea for a video, so uh, I decided to make this one. So anyways, I've got, I've already downloaded that uh, Fiverr PLR ebook, and it's, it's right here. See, Income Boost Blueprint, A Guide to Making Money with Fiverr. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this title, and I'm gonna come back to Closers Copy. As you can see, this is the Closers Copy dashboard. Uh, I've already created a document called Make Money on Fiverr, and I'm just gonna open it. And the trick to getting good results quickly with Closers Copy is to really understand which tools you want to use and when to use them. So they have a long form composer, which you can use to write up to 5K words at a time, uh, but that's for writing new articles and stuff like that. I want to rewrite something I already have, which is this PLR, so I'm not gonna use that one. They also have a long form uh, tool where you can put in a content brief and it'll also read what is in here and it will just write for you. And I'm gonna use that one in a little bit. And they also have AI frameworks which allow you to choose something like say a headline, which is what I want right now. And I'm just going to put in the existing headline as the description and I'll leave the audience as entrepreneurs, and I'm gonna ask it to write a new headline for me. And so it's actually given me a number of choices, the ultimate guide to making money on Fiverr, the strategy of advertising your products on, so that's not, that one's not very good, how to make money with Fiverr, how to make huge money with Fiverr, that one's not great, and become a number one rated freelancer with Fiverr. That one's good, but it's not really what it's about. So I'm gonna go with the first one, which is the ultimate guide to making money on Fiverr. I'm just gonna highlight that and make it a heading. And so that'll be my title. All right, so now I'm gonna close this tool and I'm going to pull up the long form tool I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna copy the first paragraph of this article. And again, uh, just so you're aware, uh, if, if you're not familiar with what PLR is, I'm allowed to do this. Uh, PLR stands for private label rights and it basically means that you can use the content almost as if you created it yourself and one of the things that you are allowed to do is rewrite it and republish it under your own name. Uh, so that's basically what I'm doing here. So I've just copied the first paragraph of that PLR document. I'm gonna paste it into my long form brief. Did I get it all? Yes. And so here I can adjust the creativity. Uh, I can adjust how long the output is and I can adjust uh, how much it's going to read. I think that's what the context 
in between stands for. That's that's like how much of the article above it will read in order to get context. Um, so I'm just going to leave those as R for now, and I've got my what I want it to write here, and I'm just going to tell it to write for me. All right, so it's generated some content, and sometimes it'll put in weird formatting or weird attribution things like this. I just have to remove that. And so the original paragraph is micro jobs are becoming more popular all the time. If you're looking to make some extra cash on a schedule that works for you, Fiverr is a great vehicle to accomplish exactly that. If you already have a service type business, you can use Fiverr to find more clients. And my version is the ultimate guide to making money on Fiverr. Start earning now. Cheaper, more reliable than traditional jobs, micro jobs are one of the most talked about opportunities of the online world. With so many people talking about it, how do you know if micro jobs are really for you? And how can you make money fast from doing them? Well, Fiverr is a great place to start. It's a marketplace that provides a way for people to get things done. Many people use it as a means of making money, but you don't have to be a writer, designer, or a graphic artist in order to make some cash via Fiverr. If you already have a service type business, you can use Fiverr to find more clients. So that's, that's all pretty good. Um, but let's say I don't love the first two sentences. Let's say this is like a little bit too demanding for me or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna, I can highlight this and I'm just going to right click and say rephrase. And it's rewritten it as, now is the time to start earning. Micro jobs are more reliable than traditional jobs, and they are one of the most talked about opportunities of the online world. So it's just kind of clarified it a little bit. So maybe I like that one better. So I would just have to take this out. And now I've got um, an improved original piece of AI written text. And now that I have a nice intro, I'm gonna get rid of this. So now instead of reading that, and using it to understand what I want, it's just going to infer from the context of what's already written, and it's gonna write more. All right, so now it's written another paragraph, and it's written, it's also possible to use Fiverr as an income stream if you already have skills and abilities. There are countless opportunities on Fiverr and a lot of ways for, you can go about earning your cash. Here's what you need to know to get started. Fiverr, what is it? If you want to get into the micro job game, there are two things you need to know. The first is how to make money fast, and the second is how to find jobs that pay you a decent amount of cash. Fiverr is the ideal place to start. Fiverr is a marketplace where freelancers, also called gigs, that's not how that works, <laughs> where freelancers create jobs, also called gigs, and offer their skills and abilities for sale. They have all sorts of tasks they can perform from writing articles for a company, designing logos, to creating a video for you. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's feeling a little bit repetitive, so I might go through and rewrite some of it using the rewrite tool. Um, you, I, you can actually, like let's say I don't, again, maybe I don't like the first sentence. It's a little bit long, so maybe I wanna right click and say shorten and it shortened it to, if you have skills and abilities, you can use Fiverr as an income stream. There are a lot of ways you can earn money. So that is actually better. So I'm gonna get rid of that, replace it with that. And I feel like it's writing, um, I feel like it's writing a lot. So for the next one, I think I'm gonna shorten the output to about that. And so now it won't write quite as much, but I'm getting a little bit lost in the AI tools. So, I mean, you could just take the first, like the title and the first paragraph, like I just did from a piece of PLR, and you could just create a whole thing out of that using the AI. But if I want, I can also come back to this and get the next paragraph. So I've already kind of covered this information So maybe I'll just skip to this part. 
So this will be my next heading. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to go back to the frameworks. And I'm going to select uh, blog titles. Or maybe I'll just stick with headlines, actually. And again, paste in the headline and just have it write an alternative to that. Okay, I don't really like any of those, so I'm gonna have it, let's get rid of them, and I'll have it write some more. All right, I don't wanna put the values in, but I do like fiber profit formula, so I'm gonna use that. And I could lengthen it myself, but let's just see what happens if I I'll turn it into a heading first. And maybe if I right click and say lengthen, let's see if that does a good job. There is a profit formula on the internet, no. Okay, so it's, that's, that tool is more designed for using on paragraphs, uh, which is why I've been using these tools for the headlines. Um, but I, th I really like the I like fiber profit formula, so I'm just gonna call it the fiber profit formula. And then we can come back here, and I'll get these points. We get the first and second one. We don't want to do too much at a time. Paste them in there. I don't know what happened there. Okay, this has got like really weird spacing, unfortunately. I'm just gonna fix that. There we go. And so I kind of have two options here. I can go back to long form and I can put this in there and have it right for me. Or I can highlight these points one at a time and right click and ask it to uh, rephrase or expand or shorten or lengthen. So let's just try uh, rephrase. All right, so let's get rid of this. Look at what services are offered. You are sure to get some great ideas. Take note of the ones that you are capable of performing and scroll through the offerings. All right, so it's only rephrased it a little bit, but maybe that's a little bit better. Just hit, take that and let's just, for fun, try using the expand tool. All right, so I kind of like that. So I'm gonna tack it on the end of this, but I don't like the part about not worrying about it. It doesn't make sense to say note the prices, but then not worry about it. So anyway, so that's a good first point. And then for our second point, let's try it the other way. So I'm going to cu cut this one out of here, paste it into here. And I think I'm actually going to reduce the creativity. And I'm going to reduce the output even more. And let's see what it gives me. All right, so this one is kind of irrelevant, I think. Pick one service and start researching the market. This will give you an idea of how much money you can expect to make from this service. You can also find out how many people are looking for this type of work. Three, set your price. After you've determined the amount you can make, set your price accordingly. Remember, if you are not charging enough, people won't be interested in buying your services. So uh, I don't want this video to go too long. We're up to 384 words now. And I mean, I know this has taken a while, but that's just because I'm going through it and explaining everything. Um, th this actually works very fast if you just do the process as quickly as you can. And I hope that I've managed to demonstrate the different uh, tools and how you can use them. Again, you've got the frameworks for things like uh, headlines and also you can use uh, these ad frameworks for a variety of different things. You've got, uh, if you're starting a new article, that's when you want to use the composer. And if you are rewriting stuff, then the long form tool works incredibly well. Or if you wanna just write fresh content then the long form tool also works incredibly well for that. 
So that is, in a nutshell, in a quick video, a bit of a longer video actually, but fairly quick, um, how to rewrite PLR content using Closers Copy. Um, if you want to grab Closers Copy, I've got an affiliate link for it in the description. Uh, there's going to be a link for both the monthly pricing and the lifetime deal. You can decide which one you want. Uh, the lifetime deal is a bit more expensive, of course, but it's a lifetime deal. The monthly pricing is a little bit cheaper up front, but you'll end up paying more because I guarantee you if you get this tool, you're going to want to keep it. Uh, so you, you can decide which one you want to use. I really appreciate it if you do use those links. And also if you want to grab some PLR, I've got a link to PLRME in the description as well. And uh, you can use that to grab some free PLR. All right. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.